A line is a dot that went for a walk. The quote is by Swiss and German artist Paul Klee. A playful definition for the most simple form of art, line. For this lesson, I want the class's full attention as I draw on the whiteboard. I begin by explaining my morning. Treat the chalk or dry erase board like a giant piece of paper. Put marker to board and don't lift it until the end of your story. Here is how my story usually goes. I had the craziest morning and I want to tell you all about it. Before my alarm went off, I was dreaming of flying in clouds of cotton candy with my mouth wide open, drifting along so deliciously. As I am talking, I am drawing calm, wavy, and loopy lines on the board. Then my alarm clock startled me awake with a loud wah, wah, wah. For the loud alarm, create large angular lines up and down. I got out of bed and trudged to the kitchen. I am not awake until I've had my coffee. Here I have very slow dashed lines. My cat sits with me as I sip my coffee. It is the best part of my morning. It makes me happy. Draw wavy spirals. I got dressed, started my car, zigzag lines, and then sat in lots of traffic. You get the idea. When you reach the end of the board, draw downward a bit and then draw back to the other side, drawing back and forth until running out of space or running out of story. When your story ends with you in front of the class at that very moment, ask them to name some of the different lines they see on the board. Then ask them to name lines that are not on the board and add them. The book Drawing with Children by Mona Brooks groups the different lines into families, which is helpful and fun. The straight line family, the curved line family, and the angle line family. There are lots of lines. Here are a few. Dashed, dotted, curved, wavy, spiral, zigzag, squiggly, loopy, scalloped. Lines that look like puzzle pieces, a maze, a lightning bolt. Don't worry about getting them all. Your students will come up with fun ones. Hand each child a large sheet of paper and a pencil. Ask them to describe their morning, yesterday afternoon, or any notable occasion with a variety of line. Remind them not to pick up their pencil until they are done, or at least keep the line continuous. When they reach the end of the paper, draw around and back to the other side. When they are finished, ask them to go over their lines with different colors of marker or crayon. Challenge them to choose the color that matches the feeling of what is going on in their story. Perhaps red for angry, orange and yellow like the sun for being happy, blue and green for sad or calm, magenta and purple for craziness. This lesson is for pre-K through kindergarten. The first and second graders will also draw their line in pencil, but ask them to notice the shapes that are created in between the lines. Have the kids color the shapes between the lines. I refer back to this project when we discuss the art element space. I like to hand out oil pastels for this project because the colors are vivid. Also, blending the colors together is easily done with your finger or a colorless blender, which is an oil pastel with no pigment. This is a new discovery for me and I'll include a link to them. Make sure you have the wet wipes on the tables. They are perfect for removing oil pastel from fingers. Only after they fill the page with color, then have them take a black or dark colored oil pastel and draw over their line. Marker won't work. It just muddies up the oil pastel and ruins the marker. Make the line thicker in places and thinner in others. The black makes the color pop off the page. Caution them that if they draw the dark line first, before color, the black will smear into their colors. I love oil pastels. I only started using them when I began teaching about 12 years ago. It is such a versatile medium. You can layer them, blend them, and scratch into them. Every now and then I have a student who doesn't like the feeling of oil pastel on their hands or the mess it makes, so I also offer colored pencils and markers as well. Ask the students to title their drawing 
and have a few tell their story as they go through their line drawing. Some of them get pretty funny. Well, that's all I have for this project. Here's your homework. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.